I asked Karen Krishna, I said, can you think of a soil bacteria that's genetically engineered, well-meaning, that could end up causing damage to the human gut? This answers your question. And he said, when you're designing for the soil, there's a lot of competition and you want to make sure your, your champion survives. So you equip the genetic code of the microbe with antimicrobial genes that kill other microbes. And either you intentionally equip it with an antibiotic resistant gene, or because it's creating antimicrobials, it'll develop its own antibiotic resistance. So now you have this tank, this genetic construct, killing other microbes, unkillable by antibiotics, and then you have a trait. Is it doesn't matter what trait you have. You take this construct and you eat the soil somehow. It gets on your hands, you touch it to your lips. It gets in, so it picks up some commensural bacteria that is a pathogen. And now you have given that pathogen a boost that it will never have been able to do on its own. It's now killing off other bacteria in the gut. It's now antibiotic resistant and it, live long, it lives long and prospers as that construct, that genetic construct was designed to do in the soil. 